Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another edition of BA Select Start Bass. Bass. Oh, yeah, it's Bass. Um, I, think that, I think that's pretty good. BA Select Start Bass. Bass. Because then it's low, like yeah. bass. Hey, get it, right? It ties it all together. Uh, you know, like a fishing string that you just use to catch a bass. You're on but fire I'm today. Killing it. Um. <laughs> Welcome back to another edition. We are here today to drop uh, our thoughts on the latest uh, 2K news, as well as to review the final four games that we have in our ongoing series on the road to WWE 2K20. Thank you so much for joining us on another very, very special episode. Yes, this episode is as special as 2K's philosophy of copy and paste. Oh, jeez. And we're going to get into that. Don't you worry. <laughs> yes, we are. Uh, so yeah, we're talking 16 through 19 today, but I figure, yeah, we'll start off once again with what little little news there's been on 20, uh, 2020. Yeah. 2020. So anyway, uh, so we got, first of all, uh, if you have been on the internet today, uh, you may have seen the release of both Kevin Owens and Aleister Black's entrances. Entrance, yes. Um... We'll kind of talk about these the same way we talked about Joe and uh, Buddy. Buddy. Yeah. So let's start with Ko. I know you you had a particular beef <laughs> with this one. Uh, why don't you start with that? Uh, first of all, I think when Ko comes out for his entrance, he could use an iron. Um, simply because I get it, they're trying to be authentic to this entrance, but I just thought Kevin Nolan's shirt was very wrinkly. It looked a little slobbish. Yeah. And like, I what, mean... Like, what are the costume people doing in the back giving him a shirt like that for exactly. national television? Come on. Yeah. Um... I mean, because it, like, it's one of those things where if we're following authenticity, when yeah. Kevin Owens comes out, his shirts are usually, they're like flat, and they, they just fall right on his body. This yeah. one was like all wrinkled, and like, I don't know what was going on. I'm like, I can appreciate that you're trying to give us something, quote, new, but I feel like you're just kind of going off script at that point. Maybe it's like a, like a new feature where... Kevin Owens shows up to the arena late and he just has to grab a t-shirt and throw it on and go right out to the ring and that's that's really what we saw. You know what I think 2K should really do is they should have uh, Kevin Owens and then we should have a second model called Running Late KO where he has wrinkly clothes. There you go. Perfect. Um, it would go well with their five stings they got lined up. Uh, well, that's what did not, you think? That's not this year. Um, but we'll see. We'll probably still have at least three. Um... The, so for for KO, my big my big complaint, I guess, is kind of the same thing as it was with Joe. The the dynamic lighting felt a little bit off, which was resolved by the Alistair Black one. And maybe that's so, something they're kind of doing is they're trying to like soften the blow for some, of the, some yeah. of the shitty ones. Yeah. Or they're like, let's drop one of the entrances that doesn't look so good. Well, then we'll drop one that looks really good. So what you're saying is they know it sucks and they're still releasing it? They might. They might be. Um, but so for Kevin Owens, I, I agree. It wasn't one of the first things that I picked up on, but the, the shirt does look a little shoddy. Yeah. Um, I, I, I mean, I don't play the games to stare at the clothing. Right, but, right, yeah. Uh, you still expect it's, a little yeah. bit better from the texturing. Um but Alistair looks pretty sharp. Yes. The vest, I would, the, uh, I forget when it, what, what was the pay-per-view where he fought Cesaro? Uh, is that the one where he had sort of the newer vest, though? I want to say. looked like Shredder? He had, he's, he usually has those spikes on his, yeah. um, on his vest. Sometimes they come in different variety, but I'm not exactly sure when that vest was. I will say this, we talked about it the other time, they released The Fiend as a pre-order, so I think they're, like, really, like, cutting it close to, like, What's the most recent thing? Okay, boom, let's go, let's do yeah. it. So this they're, might be another trying, scenario. Trying to keep it updated. really updated, yes. Um, but no, I mean, I, I would have liked the, I, I would have liked a closer replica to that vest that he wore yeah. for the Cesaro match because that one had like a lot of spikes. He yeah. looked a little bit like Shredder from Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Um, but I liked it, yeah. and this one's a little toned down. It's a little, it's a little bland by Subtle, comparison. Yeah. Um, but you have the like you said, you got that little panning shot of the candles, the candles which pretty that, good touch. And, and I like that that that's a thing that they did, where because that's that's a shot that they would use during a program where you've got the 
the props out there and somebody is moving the camera along right. with the props as opposed to just audience Titan Tron Alistair Black yeah which would have been a little boring but to give it a little bit of life with the the candle tracking shot is really cool which is what 2K19 was because uh, the candles were nowhere to be found in 19 yeah. it was just crowd he comes up and then you yeah. know fog machine yeah so to add a little bit more life to it is, yeah. is a nice touch Absolutely. but then again the shading is nice um, he, he looks he looks good. Like yeah. His model looks really sharp, and I dig it. One thing that I think we haven't really talked about in depth is the funny thing. Like graphics never really come to mind when it comes to problems in two K games. Yeah. But it seems like a lot of people are like, "Oh, the graphics suck. The graphics look like a PS two game." And I'm like, "Your what PS two game did you play? Because I need a copy." Yeah. Um, <laughs> but in my mind, I'm like, graphics were never really the problem for me. Like, yeah. they're fine. I got no problem with how they... It's like you said, look at Aleister Black's entrance. Like, you, when you look at him, that's Aleister Black. There yeah. is no if, ands, or buts. I can see that's you know him. know who he is. Yeah. How do you personally feel about graphics? Because I've, I've never really had a problem with it. Like, I'll be honest. I'll knock 2K for a lot of things, but graphics has never been one of them. Yeah. Um, I have... Well, I mean, I have a certain nostalgia for games that have shittier graphics, um, and so it doesn't bother me too much if there's a little bit of roughness as long as I can identify the people. Right. Um, I, I think there was a Bray Wyatt in one of the... Er, not uh, Might have been 15 or whatever. That, whichever one I actually own uh, before 2019 where I looked at the model and I was like, ew. Or like when we were l looking at the rosters here uh, ahead the of The renders? Which one was it? It was... I already closed them all. I think it was 2018. All the little thumbnail yeah, photos just yeah. look... Gar they look like garbage. <laughs> but, like, last night I was playing Super Mario World on my Super Nintendo. One of my favorite games of all time is a PS1 game called Legend of Dragoon. And the cutscenes in it are amazing. Beautiful. rest of the game, very polygonic. Yeah. It's very, very angular, very yeah. shoddy looking by comparison. Right. But, um... No, I mean, I like those... I still like those games. I like No Mercy. I like the original SmackDown games. Um, do the SmackDown... The earlier SmackDown games have... Leave something uh, to be desired? As far as, like, that authenticity, yeah. that uh, appearance matchup? Yes. Yeah. Uh, but that's not something I typically complain about with these. Yeah. I think they, they do a pretty solid job, right. especially because they do the 3D scans. Yes. So you get the accurate, exactly. accurate depiction. Yeah, I don't know. We might just be, like, you know, segregated from everybody else, but honestly, we don't have a problem with the graphics. And I feel like when a trailer drops, everybody first jumps to, oh, but the graphics is like, did you see anything else? Did you take a look at the mechanics, the gameplay, or did you just jump to graphics? Like, there's yeah. more to it than just graphics. So, uh, anyway, you can't please everybody. Yeah, I would say the biggest thing that they might, they might drop the ball on sometimes with the characters is, like, the facial hair. Yeah, because like even the the Kevin Owens beard is a little, it's a little off to me, but it's not like something that I'm gonna go. God, that's not even Kevin Owens. What are they doing? Right. Yeah. Uh, Which would be a great customizable option. I'm saying one of the best things that they can include this year is the ability to customize hair, facial hair, maybe even give you on the, your actual, super, on the actual superstar itself. You talked about wanting to create an, an injured Becky Lynch last year, and you couldn't do that. Yeah. I think that those would be great additions to add scars, additional tattoos, face paint, hair options, facial hair options, makeup options. You I, know? Did, I did get to convert, um, I, I looked it up online, I was able to convert uh, Zelina into being a playable character. Right, yeah. So I like that that feature exists, yeah. at least. But yeah, I mean, there's certain limitations still on what you're yeah. allowed to do with those right. guys. Um, but yeah, so I mean, those are the only two entrances that dropped. Not a ton of other news about yes. the game itself. However, there is a uh, partnership that 2K has announced that they're participating in, yeah. uh, essentially to align themselves uh, with Ro Roman Reigns, the, the the cover star, yeah, one of the cover stars. Um, and so you've got 2K teaming up with the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. And I don't, if you guys haven't heard about this yet. Um, there is a post on the at WWE Games Twitter. Uh, it says, in honor of hashtag WWE 2K20, cover superstar at Roman Reigns, uh, we're partnering with at LL Sousa to hashtag fight blood cancer. Retweet this tweet 
and at 2K will donate $2 to LLS up to $250,000. So basically the way that it works is it's this includes a link so that if you want to donate yourself or like if you're if you have a personal connection with leukemia or lymphoma and you're like I I I need, feel a connection to this cause you can donate yourself but the big thing here is that for every retweet no one even has to donate for this part to happen but for every retweet 2k is going to donate two dollars up to five hundred thousand dollars um once they hit the five hundred thousand dollars they're gonna stop then they're gonna stop but that's still a cool thing for them to do to raise money for uh, cancer research um so yeah, if you have a Twitter account or your friends have Twitter accounts, share this with them. That started uh, two days ago, I believe it was September 10th. on the tenth, and that's going to go until they either hit the goal or until the game drops on the twenty second of October. Okay. Um. So there's time. Yeah. So get out there and tweet it. Um. You know what's funny? Because I think I I covered this not last time, but the time before. No, it might have been last time. Where I said, you know, 2K, when it comes to advertising and, you know, promoting, um, I feel like over the last couple of years, it's it's kind of like gone under the radar, where as opposed to before, they would have the SummerSlam press conferences, and they would like have like four or five different trailers like before release. Um, speaking like off script, in quote, because we're not exactly talking about the game here, we're talking about the developers who are donating to a cause. I think that this is such a remarkable thing by 2K to do. Um not to downplay anything, I feel like a big reason as to why Roman Reigns was on the cover of 2K this year was because from a in-ring standpoint, this guy had to actually fight leukemia, make a comeback, he was yeah. humbled, um, and then you have Becky Lynch, who, who was the last kicker, then turned into a man. It's like all these things that were kind of happening inside and outside of the ring, behind the scenes. So I think, I don't have a problem with Lynch and uh, Roman sharing the cover. I think if there's two people who deserve it at this point in time, it's them. Um, but uh, hey, man, you know what? Props to 2K. They're essentially telling you you don't even have to donate. We're not even taking your money. Just with a few clicks, you can help us to to you know you can retweet and then we'll you know donate up to five hundred thousand, which I think is a great cause. Um, so. Um, Honestly, props to 2K. Like, again, not game-related, more of like a behind-the-scenes, outside-of-a-game thing that they're doing, but uh, major props to 2K. And I I was actually like, I, I was like, that's actually really cool of them to do that. Like, props to 2K. Honestly, big props to 2K for doing that. And I just tweeted it myself, so you guys don't have an excuse anymore. $2 <laughs> in the bank. So, so, yeah, check it out. Um, like I said, at WWE Games, uh posting it up but yeah props to 2k and if you want further detail if you go to wwe 2k just type it into google the first thing that comes up just click it and all the information will be right there correct but with all of that said um we can jump on in uh yeah so we are finally down to the last four games uh to date uh before wwe 2k20 we got 2K16 today, 2K17, 2K18, and last year's game, 2K19. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff to get through. Uh, last time we covered the jump from PS3 uh, to PS4, sort of a last-gen, next-gen type of thing. Here we are. Uh, we made the jump, and 2K slowly, um, with a few misses and hits here and there, I feel like, you know, they'll put out a good game, but then they'll take a step backwards, but then they'll put a, put out a good game, but I think it's all just subjective. But, um, hey, you know what? We're here. Uh, the task at hand. Uh, let's get started. So, Dan, if you just want to lead us into it. All right. So, uh, I, I guess I'll lead, since we, we already did this part, I'll lead each game with their um, roster size as yeah. well. So 2K16, uh, first, I think this, yeah, is no, is this the first one that jumped over to? No, first one was 2K15. 15, okay. Yeah. So this one's on the, the next gen consoles. Uh, it least, was on the last gen as well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but so they opened this one with 187, which I believe was a dramatic jump from uh, 2K15. Yeah. 187 stars. However... This is where it gets fun, and we're going to do this breakdown on each of these games. <sighs> and it gets gnarly on 2K19. 
So, 187 stars. You have duplicates of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, yeah. Rikishi. Y2J, Chris Jericho. Uh, Booker T, Kevin Nash. Uh, Ricky Steamboat, Ric Flair, Randy Savage. You got three Undertakers. Two Vince McMahons. One, I believe, it might manager. be a manager. Um, and five Stone Cold Steve Austins. Now I think he was the he's he was the, the special guy yeah, that year. The showcase. Um, which at that point you kind of give him a pass until you realize that you see a lot of repeated repetition yes. going forward. Um, so this was released October twenty seventh, uh, twenty fifteen, uh, in North America, and uh, a couple days later in Europe. So. Um, let's see what we got. What if you want to go ahead and start with some of your thoughts? Okay. Um. Well, personally, from uh, personally for me, as you can imagine, Steve Austin being my favorite wrestler, yeah. I was excited. Uh, cover star, all the trailers that were coming out, little by little, they were releasing information. Um, I think that Two K Sixteen is a victim of circumstance because it was essentially trying to clean up the mess that Two K Fifteen left. Yeah. Um, we saw a little bit more improvements. This was my first uh, game on the PS4, wrestling game on the PS4. And I actually took note of something. Apparently, I had lost the ability to hit my finisher whenever I wanted to. This is where they introduced the little uh, purple bars where you have to have a certain amount uh, to the, hit the your sta- finisher. stamina bars? Yes. And I was actually very pissed off. Because while I can appreciate the realistic factor of if I don't have any energy, I can't hit my finisher. Yeah. I understand that. But the time to recover that bar just a little bit or to get it to where I need to be to hit a finisher would take so long. We'll get into this, but I feel like now at 2K19, it's at a healthy amount where yeah. it's like it'll take a second for that bar to get up. But in 2K16, you had to wait. Yeah. There would be moments where I would do the stand-up taunt. My opponent would get up groggy, and I'm just I'm waiting. I'm like, okay. It's you would do there. the taunt, and then you would be, you would be like, oh no, and you'd like crouch over and be hurt. Yeah, you would have to wait. Oh, now I can do it. Prompt. Okay, I hit it, and then I would be able to hit my finisher. That pissed me off beyond belief. I was extremely frustrated. I actually came to a point where I'm like, maybe I should go back and buy 2K16 on the PS3 version, mm-hmm. uh, simply because that's a little bit more old school, a little bit more 2K14 esque, but um. Yeah, you know, it was a major jump. It was it was a whole lot of new information to me because again, it was my first game on the PS4. Um, I thought it was okay. Uh, roster was decent. Again, like you said, a lot of duplicates. Nearly double the sixty-seven that were in the previous year's game. Beautiful. <laughs> um, well, however, as we as you stated, more than half of those are duplicates. So yeah. take that with a grain of salt. But what did you think? I think two K sixteen was your first game. Uh, on 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 PS4 that is. Uh, I don't think I did sixteen. No, cause, I think I did fifteen. Cause I think we met around this time, and I think two K sixteen was coming out, and you and I traded PSN accounts. I don't remember. Okay. I don't know if I did this one. Uh, we'll iron that, these details out at some point. Yeah. But uh, no, I mean all the all the fanfare around it was good. Um, I think you're right, cause I think they had to, they had uh they had to figure out a way to kind of clean up the mess that they backed themselves into yeah. with, the, with the other one, with the first one. Um, uh, so, some of the big things here are that uh, none of the four horsewomen of the N- of NXT right. made it into the game right. despite uh, 2K trying to get them in there. Uh, Cody Rhodes was not in the game as himself, but he was a stardust. And then uh, I, remember when, I remember this happening because it affected my super card game. It was super card, and it was also it was also immortals because I was playing that at the at the time. So Hulk, Hulk, Hulk Hogan was announced as being part of the game, but was cut late in development due to the release of controversial racial statements he had previously made. So they blacklisted Hulk Hogan uh, back when this happened, and just he was out. Yes, he was out for two years before roughly, we even saw him again. Roughly. Um. Uh, but anyway, so t- uh, 2K Showcase was back uh, with Stone Cold Steve Austin on this one. Um, da- 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 my career. Uh, which, oh, it was crap. Yeah. 
uh, universe mode, which we've talked about. Uh, nobody cares about. Nobody cares. Creative suite, create a diva, create a show, create an arena, create a championship. Pretty much the staples um, were re- that were removed in 2K15. Oh, they brought it back. Um, but I mean, still, there was the influx of the lack of a creative story, creative finisher, yeah. you know. And so this was still, again, early in them kind of taking over, and so it was trying to find a, a, yeah. a healthy, healthy balance. Rhythm. Yeah. Yes. Um, a lot of D- DLC in there, which is what consequently caused a lot of the duplicates. duplicates. Uh, Stevie Ray, Booker T, um, Jake Roberts, Trish, Lita, um, Blake and Murphy, Los Matadores, and some other people. But, uh, yeah, uh, I would say all in all, nothing too, nothing too stellar here. Yeah. Um, I think the... I might, you know what? I might have actually gotten this one because part of me feels like I played as Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> so I think I think that might have been the if I if I bought this one that might have been what got me to do it was I was like, well, this might be this might be fun, this yeah. might be silly, and so I, I might have bought it. But by the way, they nailed that uh, Terminator Two uh, remake, the commercial yeah. where he goes up to Dean Ambrose and he's like, I need your clothes, your boots. I I thought they nailed it. Yeah. It no, the advertising. Fun. 2K is real, real solid with their advertising. Yeah, um, it's just whether or not the games themselves carry, carry that same, right. that same carry the hype that it hype. puts out there. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, uh, let's see, what's this say? Um, no, all in all, I think that I think we basically said all that there is to say about this yeah. one because it, it it didn't have a ton going for it, but. Then we got 2K17 featuring uh, Brock Lesnar on the. We're um, not even going to try to on the cleanse front. our throats. Um, so, going with the roster on this one, you have 183. So, small dial back. Not as many duplicates here. Um, you had three big shows uh, two flares, two takers, two Triple H's, two The Rocks, and then five stakes. <laughs> Um, which uh, let's see, Goldberg, Goldberg was released as a as the pre order bonus on this one. I'm not even sure why you had so many stings in this one because I don't think it was really a promotional thing other than maybe the fact that they had just acquired him. Probably so they wanted to get um, all versions of him in the game. But I will say this. Um, you know what's funny because Two K is actually somewhat responsible for mending um friendships with yeah. uh like legends and wwe um goldberg actually was one of those examples where he w- was gone there was a drought and then he came back to do the 2k commercial and all of a sudden it's like okay you see the tease for survivor series okay okay now then we had brock lesnar versus goldberg yeah um so that was pretty cool um 2k 17 was okay um i feel like some improvements had been made from 2k 16 but we were still kind of in an area of okay, 2K15 left this huge mess. We're still slowly sweeping it up and we're slowly cleaning it up and trying to get to where we essentially needed to be, you know, to begin with. But um, I think this was the first year that they didn't have a showcase mode. It yeah. was just completely taken out. Um, which I'm gonna be honest was completely fine by me. Mm-hmm. Um, because we we talked about this. The whole thing of going back and playing matches that happened years ago, it's like, okay. Um, other than that, the career mode was still kind of crap, if we're being honest. Yeah. Um, yeah, I really don't recall like anything standing out to me in particular. There's not even a lot of information on this one, if we're, if we're being entirely honest. So I think this was sort of a regression where maybe they went, we gotta, we got to dial back for a sec take the L and come back stronger because play mode it just says oh yeah they could jump into quick matches my career it says uh, uh, backstage interviews with Renee Young mm. um, at some point you come in contact with Brock Lesnar great universe mode creation suite also consequently I think I think I did do 16 because I think that was when they used the app for the creation suite right and I remember having that downloaded um, and then I I very quickly undownloaded that. <laughs> um, creation Suite and online play. Nothing nothing of real consequence here other than again the advertising was was pretty good. Yeah. 
Um, kind of. So, I mean, do you have any other thoughts on 2017, honestly? That's pretty much it. I mean, uh, it sucks because I think 2K17 gets remembered for, oh, yeah, that's when Goldberg came back to WWE. So it's like we're not even really focusing on the game. We're focusing on what the game did to bring back a yeah, certain the, superstar. The chronology of yeah. it. Um, so, eh, so eh. yeah, and then we start we start the slow climb back to... Roughly, yes. To... Um, Decent stuff, because yes. then we go to 2018, 2018. and we got uh, Seth Rollins uh, as your as your cover star. Ironically, where the Burn It Down originated from. Yeah. And again, advertising was awesome. Yes. I loved that. Yeah. I loved these ones. Um, and then I believe Kurt was your, your person on this one, right? Yeah, yep. Because then you have Kurt walking through the rubble like they tied the story together. Yeah, and he picks up that boot, and he's like, uh-uh, not on my watch. So... Um, this one was cool. Let, let's burn through this real quick. <laughs> Get it? Uh, so, uh... You want to start off with the roster? Yes, yes. So, this one... Whoosh, right back through the roof, however... What was the last one? 183. Okay. 220 on this one. Wow. But, the catch? Two Boss Mans. Two Bret Hearts. Two Cactus Jacks. Two Y2Js. Three Undertakers. Two DDPs. Two Finn Balors, in a way... Because you had Demon Finn and Regular Finn. He's still the same person. Two Nashes, two Canes, two The Rocks, three Cenas, two Kurt Angles, classic and original. Yeah. Which begs the question, why, why, Damn. why did we only have two Kurt Angles on this one when we had a million stings when he wasn't uh, <laughs> anything relevant? Yeah. Wow. Um, <laughs> no, no offense to Sting. I mean, in well, relation at the to time, the, at the into, time, in relation to the game, yeah. yeah. Um, two Kurtz, two Flares, two Steamboats, two Halls, five Stings. Still? Still. Three <laughs> Triple H's, two Austins, two HBKs. Hey, do you get it? Tri- three Triple H's? Because there's triple, triple, uh, triple, uh, one, you one get H it, one, per, yeah, three Hunters. <laughs> anyway, so, lots of duplication in there, but you also had a jump of 43 superstars anyway. Yeah. Sorry, no, that's not right. 37 superstars. Um, but that's still a considerable jump. Yes. Uh, my career now allows backstage free roaming, last seen in SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. 2011. Yep. Um, mixed gender tag match is not featured in the game, um, which I think we... Didn't we hear that that's coming back yeah. in this one? Yeah, yeah. Um, that, that, also, you can... I found out yesterday. Sorry. That's all right. No, 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 it's okay. And this is, this is more relevant to 2K19. Anyway... I found out you can... It seems like you can wrestle block characters against anybody. Really? It was going to let me wrestle my the Becky Lynch block character that I downloaded against The Fiend. <laughs> and I was like, that's silly. But so I, kind wanted, of intergender I wanted match? to do it. Kind of. Um, but other creation suite features include... Uh, By the way, still there was no showcase mode. That was still taken out. Which, again, yes. uh, was not a big problem to me. Uh, first time to spring eight. So eight wrestlers were able to be in the in, in a match at once instead of six, which is the, I guess, the, according to this, the first time since Just Bring It. Yes. So they, they found a way to, to support that. Uh, the carry system, which I've, I've never utilized. I like it. I like um, it because that allowed you to um, transition into a finisher, yeah. Um, which is neat, I guess. I just that just like the new submission system. I yeah. It's not something it takes a, it. It took me a second to get a to get a grip of how to do it because I was pissed off too when I couldn't do it. Uh, but it looks like they added a lot to the creation suite. There uh, was also backstage um backstage um area now where you can go. Granted, it wasn't really as interactive as back in the day, but it was a good addition to put in. They had like car finishers and like yeah. semi truck finishers or whatever. Uh, they did, however, have Road to Glory mode uh, on this, uh, which I believe still carries over to today. In uh, it's in my career. Oh yeah. I don't know exactly how it works because um, I don't think I've really played it. I haven't either. Now, but it's a thing. So again, growth new. They peppered in things more. It's pretty much the, going in the right direction. Yeah, so a lot of a lot of the stuff here is expanding um, available resources. Yes. So 
I, oh, I can have eight people in a match. I yes. can do an eight person. I, I can you do an eight person ladder match? I don't remember. Yes, just, you can. Okay. Yes, you can. So you can do eight person ladder match. Um, you can. There's more things to create your superstars with. I guess in here they added in the glow effect that is in the game. Right. Now. Yeah. Um. So. I think this. I think that this and seventeen were those building blocks. To yes. Be like, all right. So we want to introduce new stuff every year, and so let's see what we can put into this one. See what we can put into this one. So these were sort of like uh, uh, any any sort of sports franchise when a lot of your stars leave. Yeah. Is all right. So this is rebuilding the the this rebuilding our team, and so they took two two games, which guess what. Our two-year system would probably fix that. Uh, but they took two games worth of time to kind of iron out details and figure out what was possible yeah. so that then they could come back with 19 and 20 with what seems to have been vast improvements yes. so far. Obviously, we haven't touched 2K20 yet. Yeah. Um one thing that I think we sort of failed to mention was I believe this started uh, in 2K17 where they had the patch updates. Yeah. Um, so essentially if the game comes out and if there's a glitch or something isn't working right, hey, update the game. You weren't just stuck with yes, the garbage. exactly. Yeah, which that, that that's nice because I know there was an issue in, in some of the earlier ones where like there was a, a glitch where you could fall into the ring and you were just stuck there and you yeah. had to either shut the system off or quit the match or right, whatever. Right. But it was like, God, I just spent 15 minutes fighting in this match. I mean, obviously a patch update's not going to fix that, but it'll make it so it doesn't happen again. Yeah. Which is just, that's just a quality control thing. Yeah. That honestly, is good that they instituted that. They would also, I know, I don't know if they did this for 17 or 18, but they would put like additional entrances. Like, let's say if, so and so just teamed up with so and so now they're a tag team they would take that and they would put the actual um, combo entrance for it yeah. um, I think they did it when like Goldust and R-Truth were like the golden truth because yeah. at first they only had separate entrances then they had the, the one together yeah. um, so it was patch updates updated entrances like additional stuff or even items in the um, re- in the creator wrestler suite yeah um, so that was a that was like a, again a step in the right direction yeah um Two K eighteen, uh, I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Um, yeah, yeah, no, you're right. Like it, it was kind of like the building block of like, okay, we need to go in this direction. More options, more you know, uh, stuff for the creation suite, which I, I, th- I thought was a good touch. But um, it seemed like it was slowly getting there, slowly getting there, and then, yeah. And then we get to WWE two K nineteen, which. We both own. We know that we for sure. We both own. I, I, like, from a replayability standpoint, I do think there's a decent amount of stuff there. Yes. Um, because the gameplay is fluid enough. Now, granted, I did a, I accidentally did a four-man over the top rope battle royal last night that ended in all of three minutes. Because I, I, I didn't button mash right, so I got eliminated real quick. And then somebody just get, got clotheslined out of the ring and it was over and I went, Okay. <laughs> um, so there wasn't much believability there. But as far as the replayability goes, um, like I had, until that came out, I don't think I'd touched 2K16 in years. So the fact that now I go back and I can download all of these, all of these miscellaneous characters and that gives me a little bit of new stuff that I can play with, uh, I like being creative, so I was telling you about the logos that yeah. I made. I'm going to plug plug this one again. The David S. Pumpkins <laughs> character that I made where I had to uh, to go in and, ex- like, basically for that one, I t- created one pumpkin. Yeah. And then I made a four pumpkin thing. And I took the four pumpkin thing and I put that into a thing to make 16 pumpkins and then could sprawl that across right. the yeah, entire yeah. body. So there's... Uh, it's very, it's a very dynamic, adaptive creation suite. Yeah. Now, are there new things that they could put in? Sure. Hopefully, this year's going to have a really, really extensive collection of things, yeah. elements that you can yeah. use. Um, I would like to see, um, I'd like to, I'd like to see some sort of new creation mode. I don't know what, but something like a new interface, like revamped or 
I just mean an, a, some something new that we can make. Okay. I don't know what because I know there's a lot of like it, they've got a lot of the bases covered the titles the arenas the create a story <laughs> maybe um, the superstars um, I know they did block mode last year I don't know if they'll keep that they might they might um, but even if it's something else like block mode yeah. where they it's like oh well here's another thing that you can do like it if you can take if you can make your own monster version. Monster Shop, maybe. Yeah. Monster Workshop. Yeah. If you can make your own monster version of any superstar in the game where you take their model and you can... There's different things you can like right. throw on yeah. them to make them into some sort of weird, dark Kind of like the zombie Triple H of last year. Yeah. yeah. But if there's, if there's just a mode for that, for yeah. turning regular superstars or even your created superstars into a monster like and then saving or, it as yeah, a yeah. separate superstar... I think that'd be kind of a neat mode. And it would go with the uh, bump in the night pack. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's just one idea. But, the, like, that's something I'd like to see. But the gameplay is nice. The the, the tower mode, which uh, 2K19 is the first the first. The tower first mode. one, yeah. Um, there, that alone gives you a lot to do. And I have... Oh, I, trust me. I haven't even done a third of the towers. So there's a lot there that I could go back and do if I if I wanted to. I will say this. Um, if you were looking for an easy way to rack up those, um, what do they call it? P PTB points or PC points? Yeah. Where you can buy the um, legends. Those towers were your best friend. Yeah. Because if you tried to play exhibition matches to rack up points, you would be doing it for a Forever. long <laughs> ass time. So just beating those towers and like getting three star matches, four star matches, you would easily rack up points yeah. and you could go and just unlock a wrestler. Yeah. Um, one thing that I failed to mention, which just came back to me, was it was in 2K17 implemented, or I'm sorry, no, it was in 2K18 implemented in 2K19, where um, we had lost the ability to like to do the match creator. Mm -hmm. So essentially, where you can have like a normal match, but you could like put a steel cage, you yeah. know. Um, one match that I loved playing back in 13 and 2K14 was an eight-man pinner submission battle royal. Where like um, you would submit or you would pin people one by one, it would just yeah. come down to two yeah, people. Yeah, elimination match. Yeah, that's what I tried to do with that battle royal yesterday. I meant to do an a four four man elimination, elimination match and it turned into a battle royal over the top. <laughs> yeah, um, but but the funny thing is, I think that two K eighteen didn't have that. Yeah, they did a patch update and it became available. Yeah. So by the time two K nineteen came out, it was already a match type where you just had to tweak the rule where not over the top rope pinner submission. Yeah. Which I was like, thank God, because that's one of my favorite matches. I still play it to today all the time. Put eight guys in one ring and just let them have it. Yeah. Um, so that was a great improvement. In 2K19, they, they stayed with that. I would like to see more of that match creator, like um, a slobber knocker match or a gauntlet match or a, you know, a three stages of hell match. Like Bring those match types back. You know, Allow for more variety. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, 2K19, uh, I think the big hype was the Million Dollar Challenge, yeah. which... Um, I'm still bitter about that fucking thing. Yeah, I am too. Um, <laughs> uh, real, real, real quick, let yeah. me just pepper this in there. Yeah, so, uh, This is on the pay on the wiki, and it says, uh, Creative Director Linnell Jenkins stated that 2K19 would be moving away from the simula simulation-styled gameplay of the last four WWE games, in favor of a faster, more fluid gameplay, which is why I think this one has that yes, they, replayability. That's what I was going to bring up. Sorry to cut you off before no, you good. continue. Uh, when I was talking about waiting for your the little purple meter, the yeah. stamina to come back, 2K19, the timing of it, it's it's close to ideal. It's there where you don't have to wait for 8, 9, 10 yeah. seconds. Come on, dude, get your energy back so I can hit that finisher. Except it's for my, that thing where you roll out of the ring and you have to wait for the... the Please take that out pronto. Take that out immediately. If the, there's the, one the knockout side of the ring, I hate recharge. That. You said it best last time. Yes, we want a real game, but don't make everything a mini game. Yeah, you know. Continue. Um, but so the quote here is: the fans kind of got turned off by the product we were giving them, and we had to think outside the box. And they never thought we'd do it. The core was simulation, and people got turned off by that. And we were hearing loud and clear that they weren't buying it anymore. And that was the driving force behind all of that. We were hearing from the fan base that it was too slow, too sluggish, and it wasn't any fun anymore. Amen. And that, yeah, like 20, that's why 2016 was the last one I bought. 
and then I saw a lot of good stuff from 2019, and I went, all right, I'll give this one a shot, and I like this one. And you even got the Woo edition. Yeah, yeah. I spent $130 on this one. Now, granted, there were a couple of reasons. Being a Funko collector, I wanted that Ric Flair. Of Being course. a super card player, I wanted the digital cards. Um, I wanted that Hall of Fame ring that doesn't fit my hand because <laughs> I, I don't have meaty fingers. But, uh, no, a lot of cool stuff in this one. Um, you had the, 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 this was the first showcase mode, I think, right? The Daniel Bryan showcase, yeah. Um, or, or was, was Austin's technically a showcase? Austin's was a showcase, but then in seventeen eighteen we didn't get a showcase, yeah. so this was Return so this of the Showcase. This was Return of the Showcase. Yeah. Um, but, so this is where you saw, and we'll talk about that here in a second, because yeah. I, I don't think I delved into the, the roster on this one, but... A lot of stuff. The towers, I, the my career. I know it was still rough, but I'll give them credit because it was, it was better. It was fun. They they experimented a lot this last year. And I liked the original aspect of it. I hope that that's something they maintain in this one because now you've got the for, first of all we've talked about there's a male and female story. I hope that they are two separate stories, yeah. and they might like I won't I won't be torn up if they converge at the very very end. Yeah. If both if the end of both stories is the same thing where they converge on yeah. each other, that's fine. Yeah. But I want both stories to be separate so that they both feel like I'm going through a different thing. Yes. Um. But I liked we talked about Baron Blade and Col- uh, Cole, Cole Quinn. Quinn and El Mago and all all these like not real characters. Yeah. I like that because then it, it sort of it makes this its own universe. Yes. My characters in this universe and these characters these people are there and Baron Blade was my mentor and that, that, that. Don't you mean the multiverse? Yeah. And so it, there was a lot of fun there. I so speaking of the multiverse, my character when they have you like select your the alter demon? ego, yeah. I I went back and the character I can use in exhibition mode, I made him an alternate attire so there's him and then there's the his multiverse yeah. attire just cause I was like I wanna play as this don't you lock me out <laughs> but so you've got the towers you've got the my career you had the the road to glory again in the my career thing yeah um obviously the the million dollar challenge which was a, it, it was tough I didn't beat it I didn't even beat the challenge you did and I then did. you're upset about how all of, all of that shit played yeah. out yeah because it was honestly kind of Crap. a crock of shit. Yeah. Um, but let's... Well, Ronda Rousey, Rey Mysterio mm. were the pre-orders this time, and then there was a lot of, um, a lot of downloadables. But uh, let's talk about the roster for two seconds, because you have, once again, a dramatic jump in What was the last one? 220. Okay. We go to 252 Jesus. superstars in this game. But... Two, so here, here's the breakdown. Two The Miz, two The Rock, two HBK, two Scott Hall, two Kevin Nash, two Randy Savage, Ricky Steamboat, Randy Orton, R Truth, Kevin Owens, Usos, Finn Balor, uh, Rowan, Harper, Bray Wyatt, Batista, uh, and then AJ Styles who you've got as AJ, and then you've got as golden AJ. There was who, also Kofi as well. Were there two Kofis? Two Kofis, yeah. Two Kofis. Three Undertakers. Jesus. Three Stephanie McMahons, two of which were managers, however. Three Ric Flairs. Three Canes. Three Cenas. Three <laughs> Chris Jerichos. Four Stings. <laughs> so we lost one from the previous year, but four but... Stings. Four Triple Hs. And the the the... Uh, piece de resistance uh, six Daniel Bryans <laughs> Daniel Bryan with the most single game appearances to date um, and I blame Wyatt family Daniel Bryan because I think he's one of them is he not? yeah um, I t- totally unnecessary to have, yeah, to have janitor yeah. costume Daniel yeah. Bryan in there but still 252 different characters that you can play as. Right. Um, that's a lot of options. Yes. And like we said, you can download new superstars all the time. Yeah. 20 a day. 
The counter resets every day. And you can download 20 a day. Yeah. I've got Io Shirai, who's not in the game. I've got Dakota Kai. Candice LeRae, I think I down... No, Candice LeRae was a... Was a a DL. I think... Yeah. Was Dakota also? I think Dakota and Candice were actually in a yes, pack yes, together. Yes, 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 yes. So sorry. Um, I'm trying to remember who all... Um, alternate Becky Lynch's. Um, the block characters. And then you've got all kinds of weird shit. Yeah, in different universes. Yeah, all kinds of weird things you can download. Mortal Kombat characters, movie characters, Power Rangers. List goes on and on. Characters from Minecraft, because with the block characters, people went in there and they were like, yeah. well, here's the main character, here's the, the Enderman <laughs> and the, the, the Creeper, and so you've got all kinds right, of Right, yeah. Um, but the creation suite is it, it's a lot of fun it is I it is. like I said I spent two hours today fine tuning one one character because yeah. I was like I just want her to be right I want yes. her to look good I made a character based on one of the characters from my movie yeah so <laughs> it allows you to expand your mind and like you yeah. know um, we I think this was 2K17 and I could be wrong where mm-hmm. they had the different type of materials where you had yeah. rubber plastic I think plastic, they introduced leather. it yeah. Yeah. Um, which I thought great addition. And yeah. I know in 2K19 they expanded on it. They had like crocodile skin and wood and concrete. Metal, concrete. Yeah. Um, um, and then you could change um, the. Yeah, there was all kinds of yeah, shit that you You can emboss it. stuff like into yeah. the body, which I. So great stuff. Keep that in there. Um, yeah, like my downloadable people, because I'm more of an alternate attire guy. So yeah. when you do that, it takes up a slot. Yeah. Um, but like I have CM Punk, I have Hulk Hogan, I have Ryback. Um, I think I told you I just downloaded Bradshaw yesterday from yeah. the APA. So mine is much more like retro people who are again like not in the game for various reasons. But um, no, yeah, two K nineteen. I think took I think took ten steps forward if we're being completely honest. Going back to your point, it's a decent wrestling game. It has good replay value. I think that. Whatever was taken out before, it to some extent makes up for that. Maybe not completely, but to a certain extent, they put stuff in there where it's like, okay, you met me in the middle, I can live with this. Um, so, uh, yeah, like I still play 2K19 to today. Again, I am guilty for doing usually eight men elimination battle royals. That's just my thing. Um, but uh, there is various stuff that's missing. And I know that like they, they revamped the, the steel cage match. Um, they revamped the Hell in a Cell match. Um, so yeah, there are certain match types that they went to, went back and they, like they worked on. But um, no, yeah, Two K Nineteen was solid. If I can describe it in one word, solid wrestling game. Um, whoever, again, people are going to talk about the graphics and this. It's like okay, well now you're just you're nitpicking. Yeah. Um, but no, solid solid wrestling game. In all honesty, yeah. online is still very lack. It's it it's basically a lack fest, but yeah. um, that's something that they that they got to fix. Yeah, too. But uh, no, I mean a lot of good things going for this one. Hopefully, they continue to grow on top of that. Yeah. Um, I'd like to I'd like to think that they've gotten into into the rhythm at this point to be like, hey, let's put together a focus group and run some of this shit by some some people some gamers, have them sign an NDA so they don't talk yeah. about it. And then uh, try to implement some stuff. Yes. Like I sent in a, sub, a, a su- suggestion to Supercard the other day because it was something that came to mind. I went, I think this might be a good feature for them to consider. And so I threw it out there. Who knows if they'll do it. But it, I think it's good to have that open communication with your fan yeah. base. To be like, what is working, what is not. Because otherwise you're going to run into the same issue they ran into with 17 and 18 where people go, I don't want to play your game. This game sucks. Stop yeah. it. I think one thing that would actually maybe be a good addition is that this year, let's say if I, for the first time, go into the creation suite and I go through the process of creating my character, maybe at the ending you can have a rating system of, hey, what did you think of this year's creation suite? Yeah. Five stars, three stars, one stars, and if you want to add any additional comments, feel free. But they have like a star system. What did you think of this year's, you know... Or what did you think of this year's, you know, showcase mode? What did you think of this year's, you know, create an entrance mode? Yeah. Have that ability of like, let, let's let, you know, where you can send out like, you know, quick ratings of five star, two stars, three stars. Here's what I thought, you know? Yeah, because even that, in, that engagement is, is, is 
I feel like to a degree that if you make it do it a specific way, even that's kind of fun for people because then they feel like their voice might be heard. Yes. Um, this isn't quite the same thing, but did you ever play Detroit Become Human? Yes. You know how they would have Chloe ask you the yes. questions yes. In, the, in the main menu? Yep. If you do that as part of this, like, shit. I, like, if you had, oh, that would be a fun feature. I know it's too late for them to implement this, but maybe down the line. If you had, like, a, a Renee Young or Kayla Braxton or somebody show up like Chloe does yeah. on Detroit Become Human and says, hey, la da 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 just wanted to ask you a couple questions, and then you do it. Yeah. Then it's, it's kind of a fun it's interactive engaging, thing yes. as opposed to just uh, do a survey. Okay, well, I guess I'll do a survey. Or yeah. cl- close. I don't want to do a survey right yeah, now. Yeah. <laughs> but if you make your make it an, interactive. an interactive yeah, yeah. experience, people will be more inclined yeah. to give you that feedback. Yeah. So, you know, we're just out here giving giving away ideas for, for free unless you want to pay us. For only nine ninety nine. I mean, I'd like more than that, but... Okay, $10. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> so there you go, guys. I think we just went through um, 20 years of video games. Uh, granted, it wasn't specific, you know, like we didn't go like one episode for this, one episode for that. We kind of grouped together. Yeah. Um, but here we are. We have reached the end of the line. We are down to the most recent game, which is 2K19. 2K20 is right around the corner, October 22nd, I believe it yes. is. Um, so we are literally a month and 10 days. Uh, yeah. Yeah. A month and 10 days away from release. Um, we actually were talking about this. We don't know where the series is going to go next. I'm thinking that once a few more bits of information drops, maybe we'll review those. Yeah. Maybe we'll have some live gameplay going on and have like an actual review when the game actually comes out. I don't know. We'll see. But in the meantime, Dan, do you have any closing remarks? Um, no, I mean, uh, you guys have, uh, for those of you who've been listening or those of you who, uh, have just tuned in, um, thanks for coming along on this, on this journey, uh, for BA Select Start, which hopefully we can, again, find more, more content to deliver. Um, but beyond that, I mean, I'm That's about, I'm about there. So, uh, all right. So, with all that said, remember to save your progress. Don't turn off the system. We'll see you guys next time.